Printf is a powerful tool in Java that allows the user to format strings. In previous videos, we've looked at precision, width, and flags. In this video, we're going to look at the argument index. In this first example here, I am not using an argument index, but rather I'm just printing the strings 1, 2, and 3 with a space in between each. And the output would look like this, 1, 2, 3. Now, in this next example, I'm going to show the output using an argument index. An argument index starts with an index number and then the dollar sign. So we can see that the first argument is going to be a 1 over here. And you can probably guess, because I've used 1 dollar sign, 1 dollar sign here, what's going to print out. 1, 1, 1. Because all of these are referencing just this argument. And these other arguments, although they are there, they will be ignored, and it will not throw an error. Next, what I've done is I've said, OK, I'm going to reference the arguments in reverse order. So I say the third, the second, and then the first. And the output would look like this, third, second, first. Now, this example might have surprising results. What it does is it references the second index, which is 2, and then once an index is not specified, it starts at the beginning of the index, which is 1, and then 2 again. So it prints 2, 1, 2. This example is going to start with 1, pull that 1, pull out the 3, and can you guess what's going to print next? Yes, it's going to be the 2. So it goes 1, takes out the 3, and then prints the 2. This example down here starts with 2, goes to 3, so it's going to go 2, 3, and then because this one does not have a reference, it is going to start at the beginning of the list and print 1. So we get 2, 3, 1. And then finally, I have an example of having multiple elements inside of the formatting string, but only having one argument. And you can see that this is not going to throw an error because it's referencing that same argument. So it prints the first argument, the first argument, and we get 1, 1. As I did in the previous slide, I'm just going to display three strings with spaces in between, 1, 2, 3. Now, there's another character that you can use with argument indexes. You can see here that I have percent %s, and then I have less than and less than. Let's see what it prints out, and you'll probably be able to tell what the less than sign does. It prints 1, 1, 1. So what it's doing is it's saying, OK, first I'm going to print the first argument. And then this less than sign is kind of like a pointer pointing to the previous element. And so it says, what did you print out last? You printed a 1. OK, so I'm going to print out a 1. And then this does the same thing. What did you print out last? You printed out a 1, so I'm going to do that too. And that's how we get the output 1, 1, 1. Down here, we have an element that's going to print 1. It will print 1 again because it's pointing to that. And then we'll see what this next one prints out. It would be 1. It prints the 1 again because it's pointing to that one, and then it continues on in the argument list, and it'll print out the 2. This does very similar. It's going to print 1, 2, and then it also prints 2 again, because that's what its predecessor did. If we try to say, I want you to print the predecessor as the first thing in our list, hopefully you can see this would be an error. In this next example, you can see that I have combined both the argument index and the less than sign in the same formatting string. The problem with this line, though, is that this is incorrect syntax. This statement would produce an error because the 2 should go before the dollar sign, and it would be missing the index. And this 2 would be considered a width, not an index. So now we look at this next one, which gives us the correct syntax. Let's see what it does. It would look for the second index, which is 2, and then start over because there's no indicator here, and print 1. And so this would say, well, whatever was printed last, that's what I want to print now. So it would print 2, 1, 1, and let's see. And that's exactly what it does. It prints 2, 1, 1. The argument index in the printf method is used for specifying what argument you would like to print out in which order. You can print out one argument multiple times. You can have several 
extra parameters that will be ignored if you do not use them in the output. You can also have a less than sign that points to the previous output, and so it only outputs what the previous value was. The argument index is useful for mixing up arguments, pointing to other arguments, and changing the order of arguments in the printf method.